guys welcome to contour series i thank every one of you for liking all video tutorials which i uploaded so far in the spring series of tutorials if you have covered all previous tutorials in this series it means you know spring framework with this much of knowledge you can easily work on any spring related project without any trouble all right so now let's move ahead in this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the important configurations which you can set in the Springs configuration file for a beam scope. Before we see the demo, let's look at the concept first. So what is a beam scope? While defining a beam in the Springs configuration file, Spring gives you an option to declare its scope value using the scope attribute. Using this attribute's value as prototype, you can force Spring to produce a new bean instance each time one is needed, or just opposite to it. That is, using this attribute's value as singleton, you can force Spring to return the same bean instance each time one is needed. Alright, you will understand more with this demo. Here, I have created a restaurant class, Spring's configuration file and a test class to test this demo. In the restaurant class, I provided here a string property welcome note and a setter method to it. And there is a method read customer which just prints the value of this welcome note property. And in the Springs configuration file, I've just put an entry of a restaurant bean which would initialize the restaurant class at runtime when requested and I have provided here its scope as prototype. And in the test class, here I am simply requesting Spring Framework to get a restaurant bean and here I am setting the value of welcome node property with the string value object1 is setting welcome node property and here I am calling its greet customer function. And here I'm again requesting Spring Framework to get me a restaurant bean and I'm calling it restaurant object 2 and calling its greet customer function without setting its welcome node property as we did in case of restaurant object 1. Alright, so let's run the application and check this. If we check the output for object 1 greet customer function, it Print it, object 1 is setting welcome node property. And for object 2, create customer function, it printed null. And that is simply because we did not set the value of welcome node property for object 2, as we did in case of object 1. So it just printed null. What this output means is for a bean, if we define bean scope as prototype as we did here in Spring's configuration file for this bean. Spring creates a new bean instance or a new object whenever it's needed. So in this example, restaurant bean scope is defined as prototype and we needed the restaurant bean twice in the test class. And therefore, Spring created a new restaurant bean instance or restaurant object for both get bean requests. Now let's modify the scope to singleton and run the same application. Go to the Spring configuration file and change it to singleton. S I N G L E T O N. Singleton. Save it. Go to the test class. Your application would remain the same. Just you have modified score value from prototype to singleton. If you check the output for restaurant object one greet customer function, it printed object one is setting welcome node property. And for object 2, greet customer function, it again printed object 1 is setting welcome not property. Why? Why it printed value of welcome not property for object 2, which we did not set for it. In simple words, we did not set welcome not property for object 2. Then, why its greet customer function printed the value of welcome not property, which we set for restaurant object 1. The reason is its bean scope, that is scope definition. For a bean, if we define scope as singleton, Spring creates only one bean instance or an object. 
and provides the same instance whenever it is needed. So in this example, restaurant bean scope is defined as singleton and we needed the restaurant bean twice in the test class here and here. For first get bean request, spring provided a restaurant bean and object one set its welcome not property. And for second bean request, spring provided the same bean instance which it provided for the first get bean request that is here. And that's the reason it printed the value of welcome node property which was last modified by object 1. So in this tutorial we clearly understood a bean scope along with a demo. In the next tutorial we'll cover an important concept on bean scopes with respect to application context and bean factory interfaces in Spring Framework. Guys, thanks for liking our tutorials and providing feedback to us through emails and comments. Believe me, your comments and feedback is really valuable to us. Do like this video if you really like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all updates on latest video tutorials and programming stuff.